Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video will discuss about how to identify the smallest, largest and second largest number in the given array. There are multiple ways we can uh, uh, do that. But in this program, we will restrict it without using the sorting. If you use sorting, it is very easy process. This program is particularly I made it for the intro purpose. They may ask directly like you can identify with any logic you can use or without using uh, sorting how we can perform this. Okay, so be ready for everything. I already created a video for how to sort the order, uh, how to sort the array ascending and descending. So if you do that, it is very easy. If you make the sorting first and they, they we can able to identify first element will be the small and the large, uh, largest will be the last one and before last but one we can consider as the second largest okay but in this program we need to go for the sorting order without sorting we need to perform this okay so let's take an array so before that what are the input required we need to create an array let me uh, define some value uh, like uh, 199 6 88, few value, I have taken some value, okay. So I have declared the array. Now what we need to do, so first you should understand like, okay, let me, I got some data, 23. Okay. So now we have declared array. Now in this array, we need to identify which one is smallest, which one is largest and which one is second largest. In this example, the smallest will be one, the largest number will be nine. So second largest will be 88, right? So for that we need to declare three variables. So we need three variables. See so system out or final output what we want. System dot out dot print tell and what you want. The smallest number we want, right? The smallest number. Smallest number you want. Let me declare something like uh, small. Second largest number. Let me put it in the next line. Second largest number. Let me print out somewhere here. Plus second large one variable I'll take on and the third largest number I need to identify that is in the next line I will take into the largest number largest is large let me declare so three variable I need to display it's small so this variable I need to anyhow I need to declare here so let me declare int small comma yes large comma and large so once you type this one right what I'll do, I will assign second largest into the zero by default and large I will update as zero. But for the small, what I do, I'll take the first element of the array. The first element of the be let it be the first element because anytime so it should be int. Okay. First element I will assign to the small. Later we can uh, change, right? So we can one by one it will compare and we can make it the small. So first, if I take the first element, how we can take latest element of the first element of the array, I can take array of zero. This will be the my preconditions. Now we need to apply the logic now. How we can perform this operation, right? Let me go back to an example. See, I array I have declared here. So let me take this, consider this as array as we have declared. This is an array. Okay, this is the array we have declared. We have some set of data. So I have assigned three variables here, small, large and second largest so any first data i have assigned to the smallest right the largest assigned to the zero right second largest i have assigned to the zero so as per this program i have assigned all these things now what we need to do we need to take the one by one so we can put it in a small loop we can put this array list into the for loop then we can check one by one first what i will do first i will check whether this number i will compare with this one whether this number first number is smaller than the variable which is declared already then i will consider this number into the i will assign this number into the small otherwise let me go and check here whether it is large or not yeah if it is larger than this variable let me save it here otherwise you go back and it will save it to the second larger that is my concept so overall for loop it will work till the end of this array and then it will assign to the smallest largest and second largest that we'll see now how we can do that Okay, let me go for the for loop first for int i equal to 0 i less than we need to till the end of this array right so i will take the length of it i plus plus 
this comes my for loop is completed now here three steps as i mentioned three steps to do one small large and second largest i need to identify right so let me take if loop if now i need to go phi one by one so array of zero i should take right eh? array of, in that case array of i array of i if array of i is less than small what we need to do we need to assign to this value if the array is small less than this definitely i need to go for yeah if it is smaller small so small number will be array of i by default right if it is because i need to identify here small you got a small this is done so one step is done now so now we'll go for the next step like whether the second digit so if it is i need to check with the large and second large also so again i'll go to the if flow If, uh, again i'll go for the if condition if the array of i is greater than large then i will assign this value to the large to the array of i hope you are able to understand this okay so else if if it is not 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 greater than large then it should be the second largest right so else group else if in else if what i'll do if array of i is greater than second largest then definitely second largest will be my array of i okay this is done so let's check whether uh, this will work or not because we already i have used the system dot out dot print and also i have used we'll see i will run this program and in this case i should get output like the largest will be the okay i should get small second large and largest value let me run this program let me run this so it is showing me the smallest one second largest is uh, 88 and uh, large is 99 something it is not clear small number let me make it more clear small number second largest largest number over here so okay small number second largest number and the third largest number let me run this program see small number is one second large number 88 see interviewer mainly focus on see if you write uh, if they ask if the interviewer ask the find the largest second largest and the smallest number if you write this program definitely the interviewer will reject you still the interviewer won't be satisfied with your answer because you can give any number let me give some other number like let me give 55 99 and 2 if i give right now in this case the output is proper <coughs> see the output is not proper so i'll give you one more output one two three so in this case also output not proper and anyone can guess can, you can pause this see like it is showing small number is fine large number is fine but second largest number it is still it is showing zero so there is a catch here right so it is first it will check this one now and it is assigned to the small that is fine second it will check for the second loop only in the second loop only it will check it will assign to the largest number and go for the third one assign to the largest one in that case right it is not at all going to the else if else statement or else if statement only that's why it is showing the default value as a zero before assigning to the large okay because it is not showing to the previous value it is not assigned to the second largest so before assign to the largest number what we can do we can assign the second largest number to the earlier previous large number you can assign anyhow because second largest number only we want that's why we can assign to the second largest number so now let me try it is showing the proper value one is correct second largest is also fine and largest number is three so let me give let me check see other value 99 comma 105 comma zero let me give zero also yeah small number is zero 99 and 105 particularly interviewer they wanted to check you whether you can understand the requirement properly and the program which you write it should work in all the aspect that's what they wanted to check hope you understand how you can identify largest smallest and second largest number in the array without using the sorting 
uh, that's all for this video and thanks guys thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video please hit like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for further useful videos guys thank you